Sydney drivers are being urged not to panic buy petrol despite service stations running dry of some fuel types. Deliveries have been disrupted, but the government insists the problem isn't widespread. Empty price boards meant empty tanks. A service station left completely dry by a fuel shortage biting Sydney. It didn't stop hopeful drivers looking, only to be forced elsewhere. It's an absolute disaster. Is this your local? This is my local and I've got a baby and it's just a hassle. Big fat hassle, so I'm not sure what's going on. Well, I mean, it's just going to fill up. But they've just closed it off. It's amazing. I need to get something ready soon, otherwise, you know, I'm walking. BP stations were worst hit, 7-Eleven and Shell outlets too, including Coles branded stations were running low, all out of some grades. The fleet task is under pressure, um, but I would say to motorists, don't go into a panic buying scenario. Chop around or put up with another grade for, for a little while, but there will be some hardship out there for the next week or so. The shortage has come after Coote's trucks were grounded in Victoria last week. In New South Wales, they are still the targets of safety checks. I don't make any apology for pulling unroadworthy uh, trucks off the road. A fuel shortage and a crisis for Coote's. It's announced a plan to cut 540 jobs and to halve the number of its trucks. Its parent company has blamed government scrutiny, but it's lost contracts with Shell and BP. Shell and Coles need to take a hell of a lot of responsibility for the squeeze on these jobs, the squeeze on the transport companies. Chris Maher, 7 News.